Okay, so, uh, well, uh, like, our, like Carl said, I'm uh, Jeremiah. I'm here to talk to you about 3DS. This is an event that was started by uh, a friend of mine in, uh, at UT Austin a few years ago who was a student. And basically, the idea is that you take 40 bright and talented individuals, predominantly students, smash them together, sequester them in a room for three days, and out the other side of that three-day uh, burst of energy comes a technology startup. Uh, so how does it work? Well, you basically have uh, a bunch of smart guys uh, and gals stand around. They come up with an idea for a technology business. Um, and uh, s basically, they get together with, uh, with the rest of the participants and start working on the startup idea. So they develop a business plan. They uh, start building a prototype. They do preliminary branding, market identification. They try to identify legal issues with the startup. Um, they do any engineering, any custom engineering work that needs to be done. Um, and as you can see, there's, uh, there's two slides here with people working diligently. That's intentional. It's because, well, there's a lot of that. After the ideas phase, they have to you know, get cracking on building a, a functional prototype for the presentations that come at the end where they actually pitch to real angel investors. So in the end, uh, and of course, at the very end, you get a, a couple of uh, guys who make uh, horrific projections of massive profitability and revenue spikes and all this to try and sell their idea to investors, just like these two fellows here. So the question is, why do we need to do this? Why does, why does Alaska need three-day startup? Why am I interested in it? Well, look at this graphic here, which many of you may have already seen. A third of our jobs are in the petroleum sector. A third of our jobs are locked up in federal government. A third is everything else. So the short and simple answer is economic diversification. And if you look at this uh, Alaska oil production graph, which probably a lot of you have already seen previously, uh, it's, it really tells the, tells the story, right? Oil production has dropped off significantly. It really doesn't show any signs of coming back anytime soon. Uh, if you go to the next here, what you see is that the federal funds that are coming into the state of Alaska seem to have kind of peaked as well. So we can't really expect to see economic growth from either of our two predominant uh, sources, from either of the two predominant sources that we have today. We have to seek other economic drivers. And this final slide here tells the picture in dollar terms. Uh, what you see is that, again, the feds and petroleum massively outweighing pretty much every other sector that exists in Alaska today. Uh, so I believe technology is one of the places where we should go. If you look here, this, this actually came out just a few weeks ago, CNBC report. Check out Alaska, dead last in uh, business, America's top states for business as of 2010. I mean, this is just a few weeks ago. So we're a horrible place to do business, and the only way I think we really turn that around is to encourage startups. Uh, another reason, I love Alaska. So you see me badly photoshopped into this uh, beautiful picture of a, of, a, of a landscape that was taken from my backyard. I love living here. I want Alaska to be successful. Another reason, my kids. I want them to have good and stable jobs. I want Alaska to still be here with a, with a viable economy and with good jobs for them to be able to step into uh, as they grow up. Um, so when is 3DS? It's happening uh, tentatively scheduled out for March 25th through 27th. It is actually a three-day weekend in 2011. Um, you know, it gives us a good five months to prepare, which is great because we need some time. There's a lot of tasks ahead of us. First, we have to get uh, 40 sharp young minds. Uh, well, not even necessarily young. The only requirement that the uh, founders placed on me was that the event has to be at least 50% students. So, and the, the ideal team makeup is, you know, 20, 20 tech people and, you know, a bunch of business people and so on. We also need 40 mentors. So, the mentors really come into play. The idea is that they would show up at the event, but really they, they show, they give their most value after the event is over. So, we're looking for 40 people with been there, done that experience to contribute three, uh, three hours of their time. Last, we need uh, uh, Mexican drug money. Actually, not true. We just need, <laughs> we need some money for sponsorship. You know, we're trying to raise roughly ten to 12000 We got about a quarter of that covered. So we're looking for people to do sponsorship as well. Uh, we also need a venue. Probably not something quite as swanky as what you see up on the screen here, but that can uh, house 40 people for, uh, for a continuous three-day weekend and a spot for the presentations at the end. So we're trying to find that. Maybe the university, but who knows. If you want to con contact us or stay in touch for more information, we already got a website set up, 3dsalaska.org. You can get us on Twitter. You can get us on Facebook. And if you connect to us through one of those, I'm, I'm sure that you'll get more than enough information about the event as it uh, progresses. Uh, in a nutshell, that's three-day startup. I think we need it here in Alaska as a way to supercharge technology startups and try and bring more uh, technology and innovation to the state of Alaska for the purpose of economic diversity. Thank you very much.